Hey guys, so today we will be starting a new course called Industrial Engineering and Management. So under this, our first chapter will be forecasting. In this chapter, we will be covering what is the meaning of forecasting, what are the different methods of forecasting, its steps and principles. So starting with forecasting. Forecasting is the process of making predictions of future based on past and present data and most commonly by analysis of trends. So why do we need forecasting? To make decisions such as which markets to pursue, which product to produce, how much inventory to carry and how much people to hire all require a forecast. Now we will see the different principles of forecasting. Forecasts are rarely perfect. Forecasting the future involves uncertainty, therefore it is almost impossible to make a perfect prediction. Forecasts are more accurate for groups of families of items rather than individual items. When items are grouped together, the individual high and low values can cancel each other out. The data for a group of items can be stable even when the individual items in the group are very unstable. Forecasts are more accurate for shorter than longer time horizons. The shorter the time horizon of the forecast, the lower the degree of uncertainty. Data do not change very much in the short run. Now we will see the different steps used to forecast. So the first step is decide what to forecast. Remember that forecasts are made in order to plan for the future. To do so, we have to decide what forecasts are actually needed. Example, do we need to forecast sales or demand? The second step, evaluate and analyze appropriate data. This step involves identifying what data are needed and what data are available. The third step, select and test the forecasting model. We have a wide range of models available for forecasting and we need to select the best forecast for the uh, available data. Fourth step, generate the forecast. And fifth step, monitor the forecast accuracy. We can measure the accuracy by comparing the generated forecast with the actual output. Now we will be seeing the different methods for forecasting. There are two methods of forecasting, qualitative and quantitative. As the name suggests, qualitative is based on human judgment, opinions, is subjective and non-mathematical. Quantitative is based on mathematics. So we have three, so we have three qualitative methods, executive opinion, market research and Delphi method. So executive opinion is a forecasting method in which a group of managers meet and collectively develop a forecast. This method is often used for strategic forecasting or forecasting the success of a new product or service. Sometimes it can be used to change an existing forecast to account for unusual events such as unusual business cycle or unexpected competition. The second type of qualitative method, market research. Market research is an approach that uses surveys and interviews to determine customer likes, dislikes and preferences and to identify new product ideas. Usually the market hires an outside marketing firm to conduct a market research study. There is a good chance that you were a participant in such a study if someone called you and asked about your product preferences. The third method is the Delphi method. The Delphi method is a focusing method in which the objective is to reach a consensus among a group of experts while maintaining their anonymity. The researcher puts together a panel of experts in the chosen field. These experts do not have to be in the same facility or even in the same country. They do not know who the other panelists are. The process involves sending questionnaires to the panelists, then summarizing the findings and sending them an updated questionnaire incorporating the findings. This process continues until a consensus is reached. Now under quantitative method, we have two methods, time series model and casual model. Time series model assumes that all the information needed to generate a forecast is contained in the time series of data. A time series is a series of observations taken at regular intervals over a specified period of time. Casual models, sometimes called associative models, use a very different logic to generate a forecast. They assume that the variable we wish to forecast is somehow related to other variables in the environment. The forecaster's job is to discover how these variables are related in mathematical terms and use that information to forecast the future. Uh, I will be discussing the various methods involved in the time series model in the next lecture and solve some problems related to it. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you may be notified about the next video. Thank you.